Hi, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, back with a word, and this is not Bible. This is a word that one of my viewers, by the name of Colton King, gave. He was driving. And he got this word from God. God gave this word to him, spoke all in his being, all in his fiber. I've had that experience. It's really a phenomenal experience. Listen to this. This is God's message to his children. All right. I love you, all my dearest children, more so than any man could ever imagine. There are things that are to come that I must allow, for this is how I will separate the sheep from the goats. I will pour out visions upon many, and they will be warned. But this I say to you will not stop the great deception that is to come. Remember, you are my beloved, and there is no other. Hear. Hear me when I say, I am and always will be. I sent you my son, and it is through his sacrifice and through his holy blood. You are forgiven. Forget this not. When the Prince of Lies comes in a ray of white light, Know that his words fall from the mouth of a forked tongue. This voice was so strong, yet loving, that I found myself in tears. I couldn't figure out what was happening or where these words were coming from. They just filled my entire being. I can't even remember myself driving for several miles. Wow. That's something. But you hear what God said? Thank you so much, Colton, for sharing that with us. Do you hear what God said? Something about that white light. When the Prince of Lies comes in a ray of white light. Ooh, something's going to happen, I guess. That's going to be really awesome for us to see. We have to remember, God already warned us. Don't fall for the lies. You hear me? Don't fall for the lies. Jesus is our Lord and Savior, and there is no other. Remember that. Okay, now. God bless you. Be encouraged and know that no matter what befalls us, God is with us and God is for us. And listen to this, you guys. This is Pat's two cents. You know, I always have to throw that in in there. When things start getting a little shaky or things start getting a little scary or weird or whatever the case may be, we have to constantly seek God. We have to constantly uh, consult with God because remember what God has working on our behalf? He's got angels everywhere. We're not alone. We not only have the Lord on our side, his power, his favor, his miraculous working power, and his authority over the evil. He also assigns and dispatches guardian, warring, ministering angels. And we can call on God to send angels to do certain things to protect us, to show us where to go, where not to go. I mean, we can ask for all kinds of supernatural intervention. Do you hear me? Remember, no matter how powerful evil becomes in these last days, they are no match for God. So whatever your mind can even think or dream of, God can go above and beyond all that. So don't be afraid to ask for the crazy stuff. Do you hear me? Remember, read that word, especially the wilderness wanderings. Uh, um, Exodus uh, chapter 14 or 15 on. 
Numbers, some of Leviticus, but Numbers and Exodus will really have a lot of the things that happened and all the miracles that took place in the wilderness. And the reason I say that is because the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing that comes by the word of God. So if you're reading the word of God, your faith is being built up in all the possibilities of the miracles you, you'll you be able to call on. Remember that. So ask God to keep all of these things in your memory. So if you need to call on God for supernatural provision, and there is no store that has any food, you don't have to starve. You don't have to lose a pound. God can take very good care of you. If he started out with manna, baby, trust me, and he knew how to pull water out of a rock, you're taken care of. You're covered. You and I are covered. Do you hear me? Because God loves us too much to leave us. He's not going to abandon us. He's going to be right there with us every step of the way. You depend on the Holy Spirit to give you all kind of ideas as to what to pray for and how to pray and, 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 and how to get things done and where to go and where not to go and how to go. You hear me? Okay, I'm done. I'm not going to keep running my mouth. I'm, I'm about talked out tonight. God bless you. Be encouraged. Amen.